So when you stand up, that fourth toe is popping up just like that. And it's because the fifth toe is rotating down, elevating it. So our goal today, so you relax your foot, you let oh, me do all sorry. the work, <laughs> um, is to kind of get this to relax a little bit. The tendon is really tight. Mm -hmm. So hopefully if I release it, it will look just that like is. this one. Here we go, we're gonna make a small little stab incision on the bottom. Just enough to get in there to the tendon to find it. I can feel it right there. Just gonna turn. There we go. Hear that little crunch? You can hear that. It sounds like a little Rice crispy. Okay. Now she's got some joint uh, adaptation already. So there's only gonna, it's not gonna be released 100%, but we already talked about that. Mm -hmm. So we're trying to get it released just enough to get it from underneath that fourth toe. Okay, a little more crunch. I can already feel it releasing, okay, yeah. So. Okay, do a little more here. So what is the downtime for recovery with the tenotomy? For, um, it's a one week. So what we're gonna do, this actually, the incision, once I'm done, is so small, as you can see, it doesn't even require a stitch. So what she does is she'll go home, stay off of the foot, elevate it today, and then the neck, and we'll put a bandage on today, and it stays in place. You don't do anything, you just leave it there the only job, as you know, that you have is to be a couch potato and just stay off of it. Um, so then a week you'll come back and we'll remove the bandage and then it will pretty much look just like this. Mm. The incision will be fully healed. And as you know, any concerns for infection, always call me. You have our text number. Mm -hmm. And then also um, we have a doctor on call all the time. So you can call her at three o'clock in the morning. Oh, okay. I think she would love it. <laughs> just gonna see if I can't get any more relaxation of the toe itself. I've got it down quite a bit. Let's yeah, relax your foot but, again. Uh, I don't think I had any. And so what I'll do, the, um, once we've released a lot of the, the tendon as well as the capsule, it's really important how I bandage it and that's why we do not remove it. So what I'm going to do is pull this out here and rotate it. De-rotate it this way so when she comes back there's a lot of scar tissue that's developed and it should hopefully heal in that straight position. What to do. So what I'm going to do <laughs> is take this little guy here, just some beta dime, and I'm going to pull it over and then this way. Again, just trying to get that toe to derotate. And so when this um, bandage dries, it'll actually be firm. It'll be hard because of the beta dime. Um, I'm going to have another one look like this because we really want to kind of get this guy away from the fourth toe. I'll take another beta dime. Perfect. And then I'm just going to try to do another one overlapping to pull this one over. There we go. I like that. Look how pretty oh, that yeah. is. Let's keep that right there. She's a shoe fiend. <laughs> and I understand. I get it. So we are... Okay, don't move. Don't you move. Now we're going to put everything together. Weave some in between the toes here. If you protect your feet you know, during um, the times where you're heavy weight bearing with sensible shoes. During the times that you know you're gonna be cooking, cleaning, doing laundry and things like that, it's a lot easier to wear cuter stuff whenever you're gonna be going to dinner, going to lunch, and when you're not gonna be on your feet a lot. So definitely a recommendation that helps a lot. With flip flops, you have to grip with the toes. Yeah, I so noticed, you know, I know, really noticed that since you told me that before. Yeah, and it, it makes, makes this before. worse. You're almost mm -hmm. asking or inviting mm -hmm in a, uh, a hammer toe because mm -hmm. the toe has or the foot especially if you have an unstable foot the toes have to work even harder when i see you next week i want to see that toe straight oh i think you. well everything looks great mm -hmm. um just go home kick it up in the air you know like i said be a couch potato don't plan on doing much of anything for the rest of the day and okay. the week and okay. i'll see you next week we'll take everything down sounds do the good. unveiling and see how straight it is mm -hmm. sounds good okay thank you very much you're welcome appreciate it you did great yeah. opinion, what do you think? I think it's a lot better. Oh, good. I want your <laughs> well, as many times as you've been here, you could be a podiatrist by now. Okay.
So what are you putting on there, Dr. Brown? This is a little toe buddy. What I'm trying to do is pull this guy down. It's really designed to kind of keep them in place. I always kind of say keep them in their uh, their own lane. Some tape underneath here to plantar flex because this guy is so tight. See how tight that tendon is? Oh, it's it so, yes. So I'm gonna tape it first to plantar flex or pull this down and then I'm gonna keep the buddy on here uh, to keep them separated and to keep them uh, positioned straight. Alrighty, so let's take this back off. So you've seen a lot of improvement since reflexor oh. tenotomy. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. We've, done, we've done all the toes just about now so at this point. Five. We've done three over here and two over here. Those mm -hmm. last three, no, the one next to the big toe and then the last two and then these two over here. Because it was like this. Yeah, it was great. And we've been able to relax it quite a bit, just enough to get pressure off of the shoe, which was our whole goal, mm -hmm. um, because this joint is just adapted. So we have to uh, go to the operating room to address the joint. So we didn't want to do that. Mm -hmm. um, if it alleviates the pain, we'll have a little bit of contracture. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is probably what your toe looked like 15 years ago. I'm sure it probably did.